Hi everyone and thanks for checking out this review. So today I'll be continuing with my review of the Child's Play franchise. Um, I have the first four reviews up on my first four movie reviews up on my channel if you want to check them out. Today I'll be taking a look and talking about the fifth movie of the franchise and that is Seed of Chucky. So yeah, so I'll just First, I'll kind of go through the, the setup and the premise of the movie, and then I'll get into my review and my thoughts about it, which will contain spoilers. Um, so Seed of Chucky is a 2004 American black comedy slasher film, the fifth installment of the Child's Play series, a direct sequel to the 1998 Bride of Chucky. Um, the film was written uh, once again by Don Mancini, but this time he actually directed the film as well as directorial directorial debut um, with this movie. So, basically, this movie, uh, it takes place six years after the previous film, Bride of Chucky, and it starts out with Glenn or Glenda, the, the uh, benevolent son or daughter <laughs> of Chucky and Tiffany having a nightmare uh, about murdering the little girl's parents. But in reality, he's actually living in England as a ventriloquist dummy as part of a, um, a show, I guess. Um, and after being forced to perform at a competition, he's locked inside a cage and then he views on TV a preview of Jennifer Tilly's new horror film called Chucky Goes Psycho. Um it's obviously based on the murders of uh, Chucky and Tiffany. Um, and it also includes their doll, the dolls of their, the original dolls of their rebuilt remains, I guess, of the original remains. Um, and, and by this, he realizes that he's their son. So desperate to know his parents, he manages to escape and he tracks them down and basically brings them back to life with, with the, the voodoo amulet chant. Um, and of course, Chucky and Tiffany do what they do, starting out by beheading a puppeteer that tries to take Tiffany apart. Um, and then Jennifer Tilly stumbles upon him, the actress, that is. Um, that calls the police, and the things kind of take off from there. So it's kind of a hard... <laughs> It's kind of a hard movie to describe, but that's basically the, the setup and the premise of it is the son of Chucky and Tiffany from the end of Bride of Chucky, if you remember. She gave birth to to the to this uh baby or this this child doll. Um and yeah, so we we, we pick up with him six years later. So this movie um stars Brad Dorff, of, of course, again, as the voice of Chucky. Um, Jennifer Tilly as both herself and Tiffany Valentine. Billy Boyd is the voice of Glenn and Glenda. Uh, Redmond's in this movie, the rapper, as himself, a fictionalized vi version. Uh, Hannah Spirit as Joan. Steve Lawton as Stan. And John Waters is in this movie as Pete Peters, sort of a paparazzi uh, guy. So... Yeah, this is an interesting movie, and uh, I know it's not very highly regarded among the masses of the, the horror fans. I can see why. Um, there were numerous times during this movie I asked myself, how exactly, how did we get here? You know, when, when I think back on the first couple of Child's Play movies, all I could think about is, how did we get here? Um, but anyway, the uh, <laughs> Seed of Chucky from 2004... Um, as far as the pros go, I'll start with those. Jennifer Tilly is really solid again. And the movie is really about her in a lot of ways. I mean, this is really her movie. Kind of in the same way that Bride of Chucky, I felt like, was Chucky's movie. This is definitely uh, Jennifer Tilly's movie. Both as, I mean, her the actress Jennifer Tilly gets um, as much screen time as Chucky and Tiffany do. And, of course, she's also the voice of Tiffany. And I think she's pretty solid in this movie given what she has to work with. Um, but yeah, it's really her movie. Um, Brad Dorff, again, is as good as Chucky. Definitely delivers some some humorous one-liners, or tries to anyway. Um, I, th I feel like there's more blood and gore in this movie, um, especially at a certain dinner scene. 
which if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about when Redman meets the end of, uh, meets his demise. Um, I don't, f yeah, I don't feel like there was as much blood or gore in the previous movies. There's doesn't seem to be a lot of kills in this movie, but when there are, I think they were pretty, I think the kills were pretty good and effective. Some of the humor was clever and it did make me laugh, especially for the time that this movie came out, 2004. Some relevant, uh, relevant humor there. I thought the special effects were good, especially with the, the deaths of John Waters with the, uh, with the acid that pours on his head. I thought that was pretty effective. I kind of like Chucky's, uh, epiphany towards the end, accepting himself as the doll and kind of, kind of how famous he's become as a, the infamous killer, doll killer, Chucky, instead of, with all these movies, of course, he's been trying to transfer his body into a human. So he's not a doll anymore. And he comes to this epiphany, um, that why am I trying to do this? You know, I'm, I'm Chucky, the killer doll. You know, um, I think that's actually the line that he uses. And, uh, I don't know. I just, as a whole, I just kind of thought that that, that realization by him was sort of cool. And I don't know. I kind of liked that part. Um, I kind of enjoyed the ending when you find out the twist that, even though Tiffany the doll is killed by Chucky um, towards the end of the movie that Jennifer Tilly had Tiffany's soul transferred into her, which is kind of ironic because Tiffany was voiced by Jennifer Tilly. So now, you know, that part sort of fits because Tiffany is Jennifer Tilly now. Um, and Chuck, there's kind of a cool final reveal with Chucky's arm and the coming out of the present with the laugh at the end. I don't know. I mean, it's cheesy. It's dumb, I guess. But, you know, by that point in the movie, I guess uh, that was enough for me to get a little, uh, I don't know if you'd call it excitement or laugh. Just, um, I don't know. I, that's, that's about how you can sum up most of this movie. I don't know. <laughs> Really. Uh, now we'll get into the cons, and so, so sit down for this one. Um, this movie has no horror, no suspense, no chills whatsoever. It's all, it's a complete comedy, horror comedy. Uh, Bride of Chucky was a lot like that, but Bride of Chucky was a better made movie than this. Um, Chucky kind of gets moved to being a side character, I felt like, in this movie. As I said, it's really Tiffany slash Jennifer Tilly's movie, and Chucky's just kind of there to be Chucky. Um, the biggest problem, again, as I said with Bride of Chucky, and it's even more true in this movie, is the this is a self-righteous, self-parody of this movie. It's, it's such a self-parody of itself. Um, so self-aware and meta. And I don't really enjoy that aspect, as I mentioned in Bride of Chucky as much. Um, it really makes the film cringeworthy at a lot of times throughout the movie. I don't think there's great acting in this movie other than Jennifer Tilly and Brad Dorf, and I don't even think it's their best. It's just cool to see them together because they have good chemistry together, but I, I don't even think that's as good in this movie as it was Bride of Chucky. Um, and the rest of the acting's just not that great, a.k.a. Redman. Who's again? Rappers were getting into horror films during this time. <laughs> Excuse me. It's overall, it's just not a very well conceived or certainly not a well directed Don Mancini film. I can see why this was his directorial debut. It's just it takes us so far away from the original idea and concept that was so cool of the first couple Child's Play movies that it isn't nearly as satisfying on any level as those movies were. Some of the humor was unnecessary and lands completely flat. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. There were a couple of moments that I enjoyed with the humor, but it, a lot of it fell flat. The film goes too far with certain scenes like Chucky masturbating and the forced impregnation scene at the end. I just, I didn't really find that stuff entertaining. It's just kind of like, again, it's just kind of like, really? How did we get here? That's what I kept asking myself. How in the hell did we get here? Um, yeah. And, uh, and this was the first movie, really, in the Child's Play movie, that really didn't keep me in the movie from beginning to end. I mean, it would have been easy to get distracted, um, especially in the first half of the movie. So 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, overall, I mean, I do think this is closer. You know, everybody that loves Bride of Chucky, I think this is more in the vein of Bride of Chucky than it is the first three Child's Play movies. But Bride of Chucky is a much, a much more competent, well-made movie. For what? So, in other words, even though the even though Bride of Chucky was also a, an American black comedy slasher film, it was a much more competently made. Um, better atmosphere um, movie in this vein, where this was basically just let's take that and let's let's turn up the volume to the nth degree without any competency or or good direction or really much of good anything. Um, you know, I did I find it entertaining. There were scenes and moments that I did, but overall, it's uh, yeah. It's not uh, not a great movie uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Again, it was cool to see Brad Dorff and Jennifer Tilly. And once again, the, hi the highlights of the film and, and some of the blood and the gore was, was interesting and the special effects hold up. But other than that, bad directing, bad acting, ill-conceived concept. And I didn't even get really get into the, the whole thing with Glenn and Glenda and the um, their son or daughter being um, androgynous, uh, sexually confused, and that kind of resolves itself to a certain extent among the end of the film. But I don't know, you would think the son or daughter of Chucky, they could take that idea and really make it into something fun with just being a complete, you know, being like a sadistic killer, kind of like Chucky was. But for some reason, they went in the direction they did. Don't ask me why. I think it's definitely Don Mancini's most ill-conceived idea for a child's play Chucky movie. So yeah, I don't know. Other than that, I yeah, it's definitely. Uh, I'm gonna rate it a six out of ten. It's definitely my least favorite so far of the first five that I've watched. Um, as I said before, I wasn't. I liked Bride of Chucky, but I wasn't in love with it like a lot of other people in this franchise seem to be. Um, I do. Th I don't think this movie is as far away from Bride of Chucky as a lot of the the people that love that movie will tell you that it is. But it is. But it is away from it because it's like I said, it's just not as competently made. Um, but yeah, six out of ten is my is my ranking. That's my review of Seed of Chucky. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this movie. Uh, like this. Like this. Um, this video if you've seen the movie and like my review and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to see future reviews both for this series as well as the upcoming horror franchises other horror franchise series that i'll be uh reviewing and ranking uh, in the upcoming months so thanks for watching this video and have a great day bye